All right, here's a Mako M107. We just put together. Uh, a few things that we kind of changed up on it from uh, what it comes with stock. Uh, I wasn't too happy with all those, I guess like a guide wire that they use for the, the sag wires on it. So uh, I hope this comes out pretty good. We used, uh, I guess you call it Philistrine. Uh, it's like 50 cent a foot on the internet. Use that. Uh, just got the same cable clamps that come with the Mako, and we put like some thimbles in here. This stuff looks a lot cleaner uh, install than uh, what they come with with the egg insulators. Um, it, uh, it looks a lot, like I said, it looks a lot better. It's a lot cleaner, and it doesn't. I don't know. It's easier to uh, get the sag out of it. Also, the way that uh, they have it set up. Uh, it doesn't have any way to adjust. I'll walk around here to it. Um, <clears throat> sorry for this video. It's kind of low quality. Uh, but anyway, they have the two wires come into the one eye bolt, you know, the, with the Mako specs. You have to adjust it with that uh, one eye bolt right there. But uh, so you've got two points coming out here, so you're going to have like a unless you get them both the perfect tension on you you can't adjust both of them so i went ahead and uh just put me two i guess it's like a link if you can see that or not but two links on here and tighten those down and then i put two um turnbuckles and then i put uh what I, where i could get them at i could put put law washers and nuts behind those two and then i just uh zip lock uh zip tied them together so that they would uh not turn i know they probably wouldn't turn anyway but just to help it but then that way i can you know just each one like we want get the tension perfect on them uh the only other thing that i didn't I, the instructions were not very clear to me if you i'm not used to building a lot of antennas you know it might be a little harder um just kind of fake it till you make it i guess but anyway i went ahead i didn't like that uh none of the uh the U-bolts uh, had any kind of lock washers with them. They have like a little, not serrated, but little cuts in the back of the nut on the on the here. But they didn't, they didn't come with any lock washers. So I went ahead and bought lock washers for all that. Um, went ahead and hooked my coax up, and then I just ran it down the boom, and I got some of that, uh, I don't know, that like pipe that's got a split in it that you put uh, cables in, like uh, stereo wires, that sort of thing. Uh. Let's see, I'm trying to think what else that I did different. And then we're just going to put it up on a little lift right there and set it up on a little tower out here at the office. But anyway, the camera's starting to mess up a little bit. But uh, I'm going to probably put some, uh, some coax seals down here. So we hooked up the coax to it, adjust it out, put the MFJ, a 259C antenna analyzer on it, and we got like a I think it's 1.1 standing wave. So uh, the only other thing that I would probably do different if you're looking with that, uh, if I had it do over again, I'd probably take this, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, where they have this support right here. The support's on the side of the boom, and it goes up the side, so you're kind of offset from the center of the boom for having your guide wires go out. Probably would go back and uh bolt me a some kind of an l out here an angle piece of like uh or, yeah like an angle out this way and put my u-bolts on there so much away so that i can go straight down the boom but i don't know overall i think it's a pretty good antenna it looks like it's pretty well built uh, like i say did a few extra things to it but uh i don't know 1.1 standing wave it's pretty pretty straight looking at it down the boom boom doesn't look like it's got too much of a sag in it or anything and uh i don't know we're gonna try it uh set it up here in a little bit and see what we can do with it and we'll probably build another one from scratch probably build one with a next one will be probably like a 70 or 80 footer maybe like a nine element or 11 element depending on how far we stretch it out and use uh probably use some ron 25 for the boom but uh I don't know. We'll probably make a video of that shortly. 
All right, thanks for watching.